Day one! Let's go! My name is Espresso Kuhn. I'm a student at Kingdom High School, room 1C. Over there is my classroom. Why is the end of the so chaotic, you ask? Spring at the Kingdom is usually like that. The garden lined with a hundred year old cherry blossom trees is a famous viewing spot. It's said that a walk around the schoolyard under the falling flower petals would turn even the enemies into lovers. Essentially, it's a season of love. I pretend that I do not care, but lately, even I find my heart beating a bit faster as I wait for something romantic to happen. I wonder... A special could! Look, someone has confessed to you! No way. Could it be that something romantic is about to happen to me? But what can I do when I have no idea what the center is? INVESTIGATE! Rasuku, are you okay? You seem tired. That's Herbert who? My shallow friend. You know what? I can kinda see it. I can kinda see Herb Cookie and Espresso Cookie being friends. It just works. It just would work. It must be a prank. Charlie's isn't. You're a good person, Espresso Kuhn. I would not... Be surprised if someone had a crush on you. I'm a good person. Herbert, you have no idea the crimes I committed behind closed doors. You have no idea how many taxes I debated. You have no idea the extent of my crimes. Of course, Espresso Kuhn. You always make an effort to speak to every student with sincerity. And by sincerity, I mean brutal honesty. My, my, my. Did our dear Espresso Kuhn receive it? Chocolate and a letter? I'm impressed! Let's see that! Why do you care? Why do you care, bitch? Leave me alone! Leave me! Heh, <laughs> if only the person who wrote the letter could hear you now, they might be thinking, I knew I made the right choice. That's, uh, that's kinda sus coming from you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel? Rachel, are you gonna say something else? Oh, uh, 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 who knows? Serena was a senior and she was famous for her quiet nature and outwardly beauty. So many students admired her. But no, but no one who confessed to her had any love in winning her affection. My friend would be no different. Serena never took her eyes off the sky. She had no actual interest in real people. Then why is she here, Lamau? When it turned chilly, her date offered her their jacket, but she wouldn't even spare a glance, but continued to recite romantic sonnets to the moon. WE GET IT! YOU'RE IN LOVE WITH THE MOON! No one had dared to ask her out on a date, ever since a student excitedly went on an overnight date with her during winter and CAME BACK WITH FROSTBITE! DEAR GOD! Speaking of the devil, look who's here. That, that, were you going to leave it for me? No, uh, no, 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 leave me. Leave me! Leave me! I do not want to get frostbite! Leave me! Let's go! There's our boy! There's our boy! Such prescience. Such showsmanship. I wonder how he puts it all off. Ah! Your espresso couldn't write. You seems like you've already received... Seems like you've already received some chocolate. Huh? How do you know my name? But what's this? You only received one small box of chocolate. Dear, oh dear, such a shame. Bruh, come on. It's the thought that counts. It, it's the thought that counts. You may be the person and, and all tall and handsome looking, but really, a shame? I didn't even have a chance to stop myself from snapping back at him. I could already feel that the eyes of his fan club burying holes into my very being. Huh, never thought about it that way. Because I never had to experience such a thing. Huh? He's smiling? Eee, that's my own person of Madeline! I didn't get any chocolates when I want to receive some from you! And all of you! Oh my god, it's so funny. I, uh, w wait! Like I said, what a presence. A smile turned that, that gaggle of fans into a shaky frenzy. But seriously, what was the reason behind that smile? Genuine feelings! Oh great, I left my bag in the classroom and only made it two steps to the door when this week's clean monitor barked out my name. 
playing Hokey Pokey against Spresicoon. You're in charge of the trash cans this week, remember? <laughs> I completely forgot. Sorry about that. I'll get right into it. These bags need to be taken out, right? Yeah, take him to the dumpsters behind the building. Alright, thanks. Hey, I think I've seen you before. Yeah, I've definitely seen you before. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Hey, dude. It's him. That Douglas super bully rumored to be the son of some shady corporate bi- Wait, what? Is- Is Dark Cacao like a mafia person this AU? If so, that's kind of badass though, not gonna lie. Doesn't pick a fight, but when he does, he swings a 2 by 4 like there's no tomorrow with Raging Fury. Dude, he's being called the Dark Tornado of Kingdom High. <laughs> so you're telling me he, when he punches people, he goes, mura, 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 mura. <laughs> Hi, Derek. <laughs> yeah, for real. How old are you exactly? C can I ask you something? Talk. You're a bit too old to be a high schooler, aren't you? How many years have you flunked? Dare looked at me with confusion and annoyance, like the face judges make on TV watching the weirdest decisions ever. Whatever he had to say, I don't know, because I ran for my life too! <laughs> when I came home, I immediately fell asleep. That is a lie, dude. That is a lie. When I came home, I came back to grinding, man. I was preparing the perfect coffee mixture, okay, the perfect coffee mixture to give to my lovey dovey sweet cutie, whatever Madeline said, or- I swear, his hair is so bright and that color almost burned into my retinas. I rub my eyes to get a hold of my bearings. He's just too bright, man. Man is just too bright. Ha <laughs> ha! My genius and expertise are unparalleled. It'd be a shame to waste such a brilliance on a single club. Uh, bro, but like- would you have time to do anything? Like, it's cool that you join every club, but like, isn't that like super tiring? Um, do you even have time for student council duty? I'll have you know that I am utmost dutiful to my role as student and as the council's president. <coughs> Speaking of students, tell me, Espresso which club are you in? Oh, I haven't joined one yet, but I'm still looking. Splendid! You're the type whose heart yearns for the perfect match. Perhaps the vice president can help you find the, the club that suits you best? Come visit me at the student council office sometime. The vice president welcomes such impromptu visits. And just like that, he left. No! You again? The school clubs are on the hunt for new members to reel in. None of them seems worth joining, though. Oh god, the music changed! Okay, interesting, interesting. Is that curiosity in this case? Was it something I said? I'm more used to the nonchalant, uncaring gaze from other students, but there's something childlike in those eyes. Childlike? Really? I don't like making friends. Getting close to someone, that special something, it turns out to be a lie, and I just end up getting hurt as all. Well. Why are we telling him all this? That I crushed his lollipop and let out a long sigh. His response though was different this time. Soft, almost like a whisper upon the breeze. I know how you feel. <laughs> Stupid face! <laughs> School clubs. <laughs> I used to be in the fancy club. My father was good with the. <coughs> Everyone I met in the club seemed so different from the usual selves in the classroom. It made me realize that I have learned something new. That people really shine when they're doing what they love. Sometimes it even makes you see the, a person in a new light. I wonder if I have to shine to me as well. Hmm. What is it that I'm passionate about? Before I could come up with, some, with an answer... I WENT BACK INTO THE GRIND, BABY! BACK INTO THE GRIND! Back to making money, back to making the perfect formula! Okay, we went back into the grind! Where's all this noise coming from? This can't be the noise from a baking class. It sounds more like a movie premiere. Oh, I get it. President Madeline, show us what you're making! Place your eyes upon these, the softest and airiest of mandolins. Arius? Is that... Is that a... Is that even a thing? 
Higher than the clouds in the sky, made with my family's very own secret recipe, of course. Everyone's too busy focusing on markets and none of their own efforts. Jeez, with this many people around, it's impossible to bake even a single cupcake. Ah! Hot spills sprinkles on my perfectly fluffy whipped cream! It's ruined! I'm doomed! What was that? Kaboom! The cream's gonna explode? What? What do you mean the cream's gonna explode? Everyone get down! Take cover! You know how people suddenly move in slow motion in movies. It was too late for me to tuck and cover. Oh no! I could see myself becoming a mess in three, two. Espresso coon, watch out! That is a that is a <clears throat> interesting sound choice. M Marcus, are you okay? Help Marcus uh, clean up. Stupid! Oh my god! M Marcus! Oh no! It's all over your hair! I tried to scoop up the cream with my hands, taking care not taking care not to shank out his hair while doing so. Ah! I am perfectly fine! What? No! This is bad! This is all my fault! Everything's a mess because of me! I I'm so sorry! My hands were filled with cream! <laughs> oh god! D please don't take that out of context! It's fine! Everything's fine, Espresso Coon. <laughs> I jumped in the way to stop you from becoming a mess. But it seems I've failed. Why would you sully your own hands? I swear, there's always something more to you. Marcus, I don't know if it was the smell of baked goods and sweet whipped cream, but it felt as, as if my face was blushing a bright shade of red. After catching my breath, I finally whipped off the remainder of the whipped cream stains of my uniform. <sighs> Because of the whipped cream fiasco, I'm nowhere close to figure out who gave me those chocolates. I don't even think we tried at all, to be honest. Everyone okay? Let's tell our scary stories one by one. Should I start? Huh. Hmm. So, well, since we're gonna go for the Madeline route, I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna go for the piano in the student classroom. However, the screams around the dumpster, like they sound really interesting too. Oh, oh wow! This is a this looks very fancy for like a student for like a student council thing. Wow, Psh, pay piano on its own. What nonsense! Never mind. So your aunts loved listening to the piano, and they made a secret room for you to practice in. Wait, what do you mean they made a secret room? Are they? Do they have? Do they- do they own the school? Are they able to do that? If so, then damn! I did not know that my practicing in secret was the source of such ghost stories. This complicates things. Perhaps I should stop practicing discreetly? What do you think, espresso Coon? You shouldn't stop practicing if you're enjoying it. Really? Yeah, your family made this space just for you to, pra to practice in peace. And besides, it's not that scary for a ghost story anyway. It gave us a chance to share stories and even play detective a bit, so... This is what being a student is all about, isn't it? Having fun at school. I think it works out great for us. Even you, Marcus. Espresso coon. <laughs> then I shall heed your wise advice. In fact, stay a while and listen. Really? Thanks. This is really sweet though, not gonna lie, but this is really sweet. I came to the nurse's office, but two beds were already full. From the left bed, I could hear the sound of someone tossing and turning, and the right bed seemed to have blood stains on it! Open the ocean color curtain! Damn, what happened to Sea Fairy? What happened to her? Open the shadowy curtain. Look, I know I'm going for a Madeline solo route, but I have to. I have to do. I have to. I gotta. I gotta. Who's that? In the right bed. Is that? It was Derek the Shoko on the bed. And anyone could tell he was in bad shape. But 
His expression wasn't one of pain. It was peaceful, tranquil almost. Oh yeah, I never noticed how long his eyelashes were. I wonder how long they really are. As I tried to pluck one- WHY ARE YOU TRYING TO PLUCK ONE OUT?! ARE YOU TRYING TO GET YOURSELF BEAT UP?! <laughs> the hell? Oh god. god! You scared me! You took the words out of my mouth. S sorry did I wake you? No, not really. The bruises are... aching. I could not sleep. Let me help you redo your bandages. Uh, do we know how to redo bandages? Derek just sat there, motionless. The nurse objected with a scoffing gaze, but didn't try to stop me. I caught a lengthy portion of clean bandages and tended to his wounds. Not bad. A gentle touch. You could be a doctor one day. Me? A doctor? No thanks. If I were a doctor, I want you to be my only patient! <laughs> oh! <laughs> It. I'm going to confess my feelings today. Let's go! Where's Marcus? There he is! Come on, Marcus! Let's go! Get in line. You're not the only one. That's the process to this. It's the rules. Marcus is already busy as it is. That's not fair. Let Marcus decide if I'm worth his time, not you. Back off the line! Come on, seriously. You're just gonna ruin everything. By my family's honor, you shall not scold this person coot. Let's go! Now or never, I clenched my fist as tight as I could and took the deepest of breaths into my lungs. Marcus, please join me in the walk by the lake! As Bristlecoon, I, I... I've never seen Marcus' face so contorted with confusion and conflict, but he got on one knee and... I, I wish to as well, but I must reciprocate the love I have received from everyone! Marcus, I know that you're an icon idolized by everyone, but, but still! Destiny, why doth he be so cruel to a face such as I? Our hearts yard for each other, yet we cannot reach out and embrace hands. M Mr. President, if your feelings for his personal coon are true, then we'll be okay! In fact, we'll be rooting for you! We, will, we don't want to see you in pain! No, I will not stand idly for such insolent- Urf! Yes, we all agree. Follow your heart, Marcus. My friends! Oh my god, is it me or is his eyes just more glittery than before, Lamau? All I wanted was for someone to see me as for me. And you've always done that from the start. Not one of infatuation or jealousy or indifference. Oh! Oh, that is- a good illustration. Oh no! Oh, M Marcus, I don't have any gifts or letters to give you, but I love your kindness, your optimism, your your everything. My heart is yours, and I must confess, my heart is yours, Espresso-kun, for I feel the same. I couldn't help myself from smiling. I grabbed Marcus' hand and we ran toward- WE RAN! LET'S GO! We didn't walk there. We didn't walk there, bitch. WE RAN! WE RAN LIKE THE LOVERS WE ARE! LET'S GO! YAY! WE DID IT! To be honest, I'm kinda- I'm kinda curious about- about Derek's, um, happy ending. Should I unlock it? Well, to be honest, I have been, like, a good- a good friend to him in this playthrough. I might as well, no? Maybe the rumors of him smoking are, maybe, are making me see things, but there's a deepness in his eyes that can't be found in a high schooler. I'm sorry? Stop talking and just go. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, bye! It didn't feel like a threat, but it definitely sent shivers down my spine. I hightailed it out of there after a brief goodbye. Dot, 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 dot. Bye. And look at him smiling like the edge lord he is. God, I hate him. I hate him so much. It looked like the baking class was already over, and everyone had cleared out. I noticed a table plastered with name tags of the previous class. Derek Dashoko's name stood out. Derek made chocolate. He'd obviously made an effort to shape it into something. 
It looked like a snowman with a dented head. Oh, was it a failed attempt at a heart? I wonder... Who's he going to give these to? Just thinking about the possibility of him already having someone special, I felt a pang of jealousy ring through my heart. Pop one in my mouth! I'm not gonna pop one in- Throw it away in the tra- No! These are horrible options! I can't just eat someone else's creation, bro! And I'm not gonna throw it away either! Oh god, either I get beat up or I get beat up! That's how I see these options, damn! Well, might as well go with the first one since that's like the least bad one. I, I can't take it anymore. I popped one into my mouth. Um, 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 um. Huh. Tastes better than looks. I stood there silently snacking on those chocolates. I honestly thought, or perhaps hoped that someone would budge in and ask me what was I doing. But no one came. I left the classroom with a satisfied a WAIT! <laughs> Why we what? Why we ate what? <laughs> Bad ass no! Alright, so we're back here again. Last time I ate one and uh apparently that was a bad ending. So uh now I'm gonna throw it into the trash because apparently that's better. I can't take it anymore. I threw the chocolates into the trash. As soon as I threw it away, Derek appeared and dashed forward. He grabbed my collar, and his face contorted anger and pain. What do you think you're doing? Ugh. Wait, Derek! W whoa! Derek, ease up! In that moment, I understood why Derek was rumored to be the scary student in Kingdom High's history. But that didn't matter. I only wanted to know whose chocolates were, who, whose chocolates were for. So you threw them in the trash?! Uh, I'm sorry. But I have to know. The chocolates? Were they made for someone else other than me? <laughs> Bro, why are we just <laughs> Why are we assuming that he's in love with us? What the hell? Derek's expression became the definition of puzzled. I don't blame him! So, he threw it away because... Oh god, I don't like this blushy look of his. Do... Do I not... You are not afraid of me? Uh, afraid? You don't scare me at all. Somewhere deep inside, to just a sensitive soul with a heart of gold. As he gazed into my eyes, I could see a tinge of sadness. Hey, go in there and he go on, go and deal with your drama outside, like anywhere but here. I agree. I agree. Ooh, all right. Now we get to explore the screams around the dumpster. A fight just broke out near the dumpsters. Derek's already there. Hey, let's watch Espresso Coon! Let's go! School fight! School fight! School fight! Um, the cops will make things worse. Uh oh, someone call- I don't know! Um. Oh, uh, I guess we shouldn't call the cops, uh, okay? This is a high school drama. We have to do everything ourselves. There is seen as if he entered a berserk mode. This was just some street fight. It was an unfair crowd of gangsters preying on a single target, Derek. In a split second, Darren's fist cleaved in an opening between the swarms surrounding him. What a punch! You want a piece of me? Then cut and get it! Ah! Come on! It's just one guy! Derek was bruised all over. Several gouges and cuts were already swelling, but the jerks he faced weren't in good shape either. Derek Dark Shoko, stop resist chairman, Dark Hick Whoa, his dad's here? Whoa, this shit got good! Derek Dark Shoko, stop resisting. Father. I've sacrificed everything for this company. Do not forsake your birthright. You are destined to follow this path. And what path is that? A path of, of an unloving, cold-hearted, weak excuse of a father paid for me? I won't. Damn, bro! This shit got good! Unloving, cold-hearted, look at yourself, son. What father would ever want to see their own son in such state? I agree, though. Like, man flunked so many times. I wouldn't like to see my son like that, either. Leave him alone! You, espresso coon. Derek, Derek isn't some punk or bully. He's not what you think. Okay, he's flunked Junior here for a bit, but he's still a gentle soul. A 
Did you? Did you have to mention the flunking? <laughs> yes, I see. It seems you have a peer who thinks highly of you. And here I thought you weren't fitting into the school. My son, it seems that your enrollment in the school was just the thing that was needed. Derek's father looked at me, not with eyes of anger or contempt, but with regret. I leave my son in your capable hands! What? Br excuse me? I, I didn't know what else to do but to nod in silence. What? The hell just happened? What? Did we adopt our Choco? Guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna find Derek and confess to him. I closed my eyes and fell into a deep train of thought as I stood there within my own silence and darkness. From a form took place within my mind. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't. Oh God! No! Why did he hit a poppin? Why? Oh God! Uh, uh, oh! Okay. Honestly, it's a scene is cuter than Ma than Marcus's, but still, man, bro. <clears throat> Let me continue my dramatic reading. <clears throat> Derek! I called out to him from the nervous office. Derek stopped in his tracks, but didn't turn around. I ran towards him, embracing him from behind with the tightest hug I could provide. Aww, that's kind of sweet. Look at all those hearts. Let me be your god. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this. Bro, the writing for Dark Choco's chapter, chapter, I swear I can't. Oh, my chocolates! Don't want to meet in class. They were. I made them for my father. Aww. Chocolates? What cho? Oh. So he did make chocolates for a very special someone, but the chocolates had nothing to do with school. It was for family. That's quite sweet, really. But I'm done seeking his approval. I'm done trying to reconcile with him, and he will never understand me. And I, in turn, would never be considered worthy of his love. He, he, he literally just had a change of heart and like, literally just trusted me with you. But uh, okay. Oh, Derek. Espresso. <laughs> oh God. We were locked in an embrace for what felt like an eternity. It was as if the school itself. No. The world itself celebrated with us, sending cherry blossoms to dance around us in the spring breeze. Let's go! Yay! That's it. Um, I hope you guys like this uh, gameplay of uh, me getting the two endings of Dark Shoko and um, and Mark and Madeline Marcus. Whatever. <laughs> this is this is unironically fun, and I enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, leave a like, and if you're very generous, leave a super thanks. That would be, uh, very, very great. And, um, yeah, man, you know the drill. Like, subscribe. My voice is tired, man. Oh, God. Bye. <laughs> Mam,